Beyonce is now in Detroit for the American leg of her Renaissance World Tour. And while performing in that custom Razor Vanessa short dress that was first introduced to us in Louisville, Kentucky, she has swapped out the shoes. The new shoes, however, is definitely getting fired because it just wouldn't stay on. And I'm really sure it gave the queen a hard time. Take a look. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Success and today I will be giving you all the juicy tea and details you must have missed from Beyonce's show in Detroit. You might want to grab a snack for this one because it's about to get fierce. Unique. There is a new mystery outfit on the block and this one is definitely a showstopper. Beyonce opened her show in Detroit in this custom gold number whose identity is still yet to be confirmed. While Style Beyonce, an Instagram account dedicated to Beyonce's fashion, calls it an Ivy Park crystal mesh dress, others contemplate that it is indeed a custom Tiffany & Co Elsa Parati dress. However, what we do know is that she has paired this beautiful dress with jewelry by Tiffany & Co and Alia's shoes. This is surely a powerful look and we sure just can't wait to see what she turns up with in the next city. Take a look. Detroit definitely got lucky because they got graced by the presence of Blue. Blue Ivy joined her mom to perform the house down boot during the My Power number and guess what? She ate everyone up so bad that I was like, that is star power. Let's take a look. I mean, after such breathtaking performance, Beyonce must have been so proud that she literally had to prompt the crowd to cheer on Blue essentially. Ugh, that is so adorable. Let's take a look. You 
like that. Unique. Right now, it seems that Nashville is still taking the lead when it comes to the mute challenge. Let's take a look. We definitely had high hopes for Detroit, but Detroit was not on their Zoom for the Mute Challenge. We can only hope that the next city will do us proud and beat the Nashville allegation and take the crown as kings and queens of the Mute Challenge. Let's take a look at what happened in Detroit. We definitely know with Beyonce that the show must go on regardless of who is missing. That being said, it was taken into notice that the ballroom diva Miss Honey Balenciaga was missing in action yesterday in Detroit. This became apparent to me during the free come dress interlude because honey was always at the forefront of that hand illusiony like movement take a look However, he seemed to have been temporarily replaced for the Detroit show by Miss Akila, who is also an amazing dancer on the tour, famously known for smashing the sex siren category in the ballroom section of the show. We don't know what is going on right now, but we can only hope that Honey the Diva returns to us and slays us heavily with his beautiful spins, deeps, and voguing. We absolutely adore the various fashions that Beyonce has been serving us on the Renaissance World Tour and Detroit is no exception. She added two new looks to Detroit and we are definitely going to talk about it. First up will be this bodysuit number by Lan Van and it is paired with a cloak and thigh high boots and she looks amazing in this. This is so good. It's a solid 10 over 10. Up next would be the look she uses to start formation in and I think that is a custom Ivy Park look. It is so nice. I love the fitting on her and blue also looks amazing in it. So it's definitely still a 10 over 10. We really can't wait to see what new looks you turn out in the next city. All right, guys, we have come to the ending of today's video. In today's video, I gave you the brief rundown and all the tea of what happened in Beyonce's concerts in Detroit. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. It helps me a lot. And yeah, I would definitely see you guys in the next city. Until then, it is bye from me. Au revoir.